Horniman Museum is such a special place in terms of Indian instruments and the musical instruments here um, provide an insight into how the instrument they're playing developed and, and in what context it's used in India. We felt that it was important to uh, let the students and their families to learn more about the context in which they were learning so they didn't learn to play the tableau or the sitar or whatever in isolation but they began to make connections with um, the cultural life of, of London and, and of England. Well we've been looking mostly at um, music it's like the sitar and the veena and we've noticed that every single Indian god has a particular instrument. Um, I like all the instruments here and I really like um, the same as I like the, Kerala, the thing from Kerala and um, I like the place because they have like give you lots of information about the past as well. We've also looked mostly at each country and what represents them and what um, instrument represents them. The very good thing about this museum is it's got videos where you can find out a lot of in, um, in, information. Because some children do not know the importance of the instruments and they, they don't know the Indian culture. So if you come here, they get inspired by all the instruments that surround them. We, we sing vocal and we sing Sangeetam and it's, it's Karnatic, it, we sing Karnatic music. We encourage our parents um, of the students at Pandit Ram Sai Sangit Vidyalaya to um, volunteer to come and be inducted into the collections by the keeper of the musical collections at Horniman. And they came on a separate day, learnt about the, the museum, its history, about the collections, and then it was their job to take groups of students and their parents around the museum today. And hopefully through their enthusiasm and their particular interests, um, we're helping the students and their parents to enthuse about the museum, what it has to offer, and hopefully to visit in the future as well. I took a group, a mixed group. They speak um, Tamil and uh, Malayalam and Gujarati. And every point, without explaining anything, I observed their, their faces. It reflected a lot that, oh, the main city of Europe, the city of London, our, our things are here organized uh, manner, it's arranged and the, everything is explained in detail and uh, some of them asked me about some instruments and so I explained to them. I know something about the culture also of the sub -Indian, especially the Indian subcontinent and the Kerala and Kamala. So I explained many things. It's, it's worthwhile. It's, Firstly, I'm a tabla player and I'm involved in the organisation through, originally I started playing tabla and then um, 
started volunteering my services to the organisation. Very interested in music from India, and I thought it'd be being a musician myself. It'd be a great opportunity to expose people um, not only to um, the instruments of India, but also the history of Indian music. Oh, it's been a great response. People have been very enthusiastic. Um, they're very keen to come back as well because it was a very short amount of time to actually see um, what's on offer because it's, it's just a vast, huge amount that's exposed. And basically, um, today was just sort of the tip of the iceberg, really, of what is in the museum. So it's just good to give people an idea of, you know, what's in the museum and so that for in the future they can come back and really absorb, you know, what the museum has to offer. We're always looking for opportunities for our students to perform. Um, for us, the excitement was having uh, seen something about the history of these instruments, and then they themselves were able to play for their, you know, in this context. I think that's a really very important um, part of the whole process of developing the trade. I'm teaching them and I'm learning at the same time, but uh, you can see the level, it, it is not diluted. The level, the perform, performance which they give, it, it is not in any sense, it is not diluted. It is a pure, you know, Banarsi Gharana performance. No one can uh, underestimate that performance. It was pure, concentrated performance, you can say that. The way it, it used to be in India. They can perform. This is the main thing which lacks in many of the other organizations. They just spoon fit them. They become dependents. If you don't if you are not there they will they cannot perform. But this I think it is very important that this Sangeet College, Pandit Ram Sai Sangeet Vidyalaya is doing that they are uh, producing performers who can uh, spread this Banas Gharana and again go uh, further. Pandit Ram Sai Sangeet Vidyalaya it is named behind a famous musician Pandit Ram Sai. He was the founder of Banaras Gharana. In India, we have six styles of tabla playing. You can say six schools. And Banaras is now one of the most strongest schools, most strongest baj, the style of tabla playing. And he was the founder, Pandit Ram Sai he was, the founder of Banaras school of tabla playing, which we call Banaras Gharana. And we are lucky, we are very lucky to have his fifth generation, Pandit Shahda Sahaji, as the guru of this generation. He is here, he is the guru of this Sangeet College, and uh, Sanju Sahai, sixth generation. And we, me, myself, I feel proud myself to be the seventh generation of Pandit Ram Sahaji from maternal side. He, he, he is our grandfather, and uh, the, in India we have many schools of tabla playing, but now the Banaras has the strongest, the Banaras Gharana has the strongest place. And you know, the, its technique of playing, the distinct, the powerful style, the position of uh, placing your finger on the drum, it's all different from all Gharana. And that's why it is a bar Banaras Gharana. We chose the sitar because um, the Horniman Museum has an unusually large collection of sitars and we also have a sitar tutor, a very uh, well-known and well-respected musician in his own right. And so it was an opportunity to help our families to make the links between what they see in the museum and then with somebody today playing um, the modern version of the instruments, they, uh, or a lot of the instruments that they saw in the collection.
It's a family day trip. It's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you to Francis and all the organizers. The, the instruments, I've never seen such wide variety of instruments in one place. And guided by Anna, she explained to us in the olden days and now, really good. And the children have had hands-on. The hands-on instruments have been just brilliant. I think understanding that the tablas, how they are made, uh, and other instruments which they learn in outside uh, in schools and things like that, better understanding. I've been most impressed with the whole um, exhibition today. And to see the young people being involved, looking at everything, and, and going and seeing the heritage of the music that they're studying in context. You know, many of these youngsters love their the Indian music and, and children who don't come from India, likewise. And to see it in its historical context, set with instruments, set with pictures, set with films. This project is raising the profile of the organisation. That's very important because a lot of work and effort has gone in. The organisation is growing and it's important that other people realise just what it's doing and how it's helping these youngsters.